What's going on, y'all? This is John Allsace with Face Mask Fantasy. We got new up-to-date fantasy content coming your way every day on this channel, so if you have not subscribed already, then please hit that button. But before we get into our main topic for today, my co-host Nick Payne put in a ton of work to give you guys a free 2021 redraft draft kit available on our website, which can be found at facemaskpod.com. It's a great piece of content, something that other analysts might be charging you for but we're giving it to you for free so without further ado let's get into some fantasy talk and today we're going to talk chris evans because after eight seasons Gio bernard packed his bags and left cincinnati for greener pastures aka the defending super bowl champions and with the longtime Bengals third down back no longer in the picture most people believe that joe mixon is going to take over the three down role full time in this offense and become a true workhorse back while that prediction is likely to come true there is a deep fantasy sleeper right now sitting on the Bengals RB depth chart who was in line to replace Gio Bernard's third down snaps as a rookie and that guy's name is Chris Evans. Now let's take a look at what Chris Evans did in the preseason. In preseason game one he rushed 12 times for 25 yards not great 2.1 yards per carry average but he scored a TD on the ground and he caught four balls for 44 yards. He led the team in receptions. In his second preseason game he rushed nine times for 35 yards. Again not that great in terms of yards per carry on the ground. Better than preseason game one but still no receiving work for this game. In preseason game three, Evans rushed three times for 10 yards, but the minimal output actually bodes well for his prospects in the season as it signals the team already made its mind up about Evans and weren't waiting for the third game to give him a ton of run to see if he deserves a spot over the next guy. And in the receiving game, he only chipped in one reception, but it went for a 29-yard TD, which was actually the longest play of the Bengals preseason. After a pretty strong preseason showing from Chris Evans, his spot on the Bengals 53-man roster is now effectively secured. The Bengals selected Michigan running back Chris Evans with the 202nd overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. He comes into the league 5'11", 211 pounds. He was a four-star recruit and a four-year backup under coach Jim Harbaugh. He never led the Wolverines in rushing. His best career line in college was 135 rushes for 685 yards and six touchdowns. And he missed the entire 2019 season. But when given the opportunities, he does have a career yards per carry average of 5.6. He did only run a 4.5740, but he does come with 85th percentile spark athleticism at the position with a 40.5 inch vertical pretty impressive this was all at his pro day so his recruiting profile and athleticism provide a pretty strong ceiling but he will still be 23 years old coming into the nfl he is an older rookie he will be 24 in october and it's fair to wonder with the sixth round draft capital if he even gets drafted in a regular draft year because since the ncaa granted everybody an extra year of eligibility due to the pandemic the 2021 nfl draft had one-third the number of prospects as a normal year because so many players opted to return to school to improve their draft stock following sitting out the 2020 COVID season. Many of those prospects could have been day two or day three picks that might have pushed Evans into the seventh round or off the draft board completely into undrafted free agent pool territory. But he was drafted, and by all accounts, his coaching staff loves him. Cincinnati Bengals offensive coordinator Brian Callahan has been really impressed with the rookie running back. He came out and said earlier in the offseason that he has the most natural hands for a running back that he's ever been around and that's high praise considering the team just let go of Gio Bernard vacating 59 targets from 2020 alone he was one of the best third down backs in the league and he was one of the best pass catching backs in the league and while Mixon is projected to take some of that passing down work I don't think any of it's projected to go to Perrine. I believe Perrine is more of a Jordan Howard type in that his specialty is just not catching the ball. My money is on Chris Evans picking up a fair amount of that Gio Bernard target workload as early as year one. So where does this leave Chris Evans in fantasy? The 23 year old has physical skills, doesn't have a ton of experience. Even in college, he could walk into a Geo light role, which is valuable in all PPR formats and half PPR formats, but not especially valuable in standard leagues. And while he would carry a lot more upside if Mixon were to sustain another injury this season. That's not something we should be counting on. So just from standalone value, am I drafting Chris Evans in season long or redraft leagues? No, but I'm keeping an eye on him just in case something happens to Perrine or Mixon over the course of the season. Because if he were ever pushed into a direct handcuff role, he has the athleticism to succeed. In Dynasty, while I like him, he's somebody that does come with some warts for sure. He's 23. Like I said, he will be 24 in October and he has low draft cap 
capital for a running back. Those are typically two things I don't like when I'm looking at a running back in Dynasty, specifically drafting a rookie. I don't want an old rookie and I don't want a late round rookie. Compounding this is the fact that Mixon is signed through 2023 and Perrine is signed through 2022. So Evans won't have the backup role to Mixon to himself until the 2023 season when he's 25 and would be 26 in October that year. I like his athletic ceiling, but as a potential eventual handcuff to Mixon and more of a pass catching specialist than Perrine, he's worth the roster spot in Dynasty. I just don't expect to blow up this season outside of injury, which we don't predict. So he's completely off my radar right now outside of just a watch list player in season long and redraft leagues. So what do you guys think? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is John Alsace and this is Face Mask Fantasy. We bring you new up to date fantasy content every day right here on this channel. So if you have not subscribed already, please hit that button. Thank you for listening and have a great day.